Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. It is time to support those small, tiny businesses that you may have never even heard of. So we're gonna be doing that today. This is part four, I think, of our small business TikTok. Now, some of these small businesses on TikToks has blown up because the first one I wanna jump right into, the video got 64 million views. Guys, TV shows don't even get 64 million views. Like, that's insane. That's like Game of Thrones TV show, right? So this is it right here. But first, we're gonna go ahead and roll the TikTok. Illuminated by Mia. So this is such an interesting company because as you can see, the candles are handmade and well, let's just unbox. We have an adorable sticker that says, I love summer. Absolutely, I love summer. By the way, subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Dang, these are heavy. And then I just bought an extra thing off the website to support. And then there's some tissue paper in here. So let's go ahead and open these up and see what the hype's all about. 64 million views on that video. But I gotta say, the TikTok was like super like eye catchy and just like, what the heck is that? Okay, I remember what I bought now. I bought two of them. <gasps> oh, oh my God, I can't even explain to you how cute this is in person. <gasps> and the fact that she like hand places, look, it's wrapped in plastic, but, or this part is, but she hand places each item in there and it's like perfect. Look at that. <gasps> oh, this is so cute. Oh, it smells pretty good too. Oh my gosh, this is such a neat candle. I'm gonna do a little iPhone footage of this so you guys can get a close-up shot, like really close up like I'm seeing. Okay guys, can you guys see now? And it's like jelly. It's a jelly candle. Have you ever in your life? Look how cool that is. And then you see the little, the little seal. Oh my God, that is so cool. We're about to light it. But first I need to open this one. All right guys, I also picked up another candle which was very on brand for me. So I felt like I just needed to get it. It's a little Coca-Cola candle. Oh my goodness. I wish it was a Dr. Pepper candle, but this could be Dr. Pepper. Oh my God, they made ice cubes. Can you guys tell it's like ice cubes in there? How cool is that? Oh my God, this is so big. We're about to light these. First, let me get you a close up shot. All right, guys, here's the close-up shot of, look at that, of the Coke candle. I just can't get enough. This is so cool. Ignore all my mess. Wow. Okay, we're going to light these. I have my handy-dandy loiter. Voila. We're actually going to let these burn in the background of this video so we can see how they progressively burn. Watch it like light the house on fire. <laughs> Okay, we have the seal candle burning. That is too cool. Wait, what does this one even smell like? Mm, it smells pretty clean with just maybe a touch of floral. It smells good though. How freaking cool are those? Oh my God. Okay, I also have to say, I think I'm burning up in this sweater. I, I, I thought I was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be cold. Those look just like they looked on the TikTok, I gotta say, like no clickbait there, like everything looks just as it is and they are absolutely adorable. She has an Etsy shop and I will be linking every small business right down below. Those are awesome, illuminated by Mia. And she has a bunch of different candles on there. I just picked those two. So definitely check that out. Our next one is by Pretty Resin Studio and they make animal tags. So go ahead and roll the TikTok. First it says handmade with love on the package, so cute. I just love like all the details and all the handmade stuff. I just think it's so sweet. Here is a little thank you card. It says, you've made my day. Thank you so much for supporting my small business. If you're happy with your purchase, I'll be grateful for your review. Please take 15% off your next order with code pretty15, adorable. Ah, I got two things. First thing I got, I think Tyler's going to die. Oh my God, it's so beautiful, seriously. And so is, it comes on this card, but on the card it's like taped on. And do you see it says Yoshi? So I went with the gold flakes. She has a ton of different options. I love this as a dog bone for my cat, but I went with the gold flakes and the flowers to say Yoshi. Oh my God, it turned out so cute. 
it's just precious, honestly. Okay, and then I was like, she makes keychains with the resin stuff as well. So she has a couple different things on the website, but I went ahead and got this one oh, for a friend. whose name starts with an H. How cute is that? And then it has the rose gold little flex in it. I just think that's a cute personalized gift and a great way to support a small business. So this is by Pretty Resin Studio. And yeah, their TikTok went pretty viral. So I had to check them out and I gotta say their stuff is just as cute as it can be, like obsessed. You just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, and it also came with this. She has custom stickers made that say Pretty Resin Studio, and the other one says, you're like really pretty. Aren't those cute little stickers? So this all in all, I 10 out of 10, like this is absolutely adorable if you have a pet or you wanna do a personalized gift, I think definitely checking them out. I'll link them down below, and they are another shop on Etsy. So this video is all about small businesses and supporting small businesses. So as a part of the Better Internet Initiative, I just wanna remind you guys to be sure and shop at small businesses wherever you can. Small business owners account for 64% of the jobs in the United States. Over 20% of small businesses fell within the first year, you guys. So small businesses could really use our support. It is is truly anti-monopoly work whenever you support small businesses. You gotta remember the big dogs have an endless marketing budget, so you're going to see those more, and sometimes it's hard to find small businesses. And that's why I like to do these videos to discover small businesses that you may not even know that exist. Whenever you support a small business, there is a shift in power, and it gives more opportunities to communities of color, anyone who has anything to do with small business, small business owners, small business employees, you give them power, you give them opportunities whenever you're able to support a small business, so do it whenever you can do it. This next small business makes handmade jewelry. It's called Your Golden Angel. Okay, I got my package in. I ordered all this stuff like a month ago. Whoa! Okay, it comes in this tissue paper. It comes with this little card. It is a handwritten card. It says, thank you so much for ordering and supporting my small business. Can you guys see that? It's so sweet. Love, Alana, maybe? Alana, I think her name is. And then she gives a jewelry care sheet. Can you guys just see how everything's so dainty and so sweet? Oh my God, it gets cuter. Oh my gosh, not the clothespin with the heart. <gasps> I love it, look at that on the package. Okay, are you ready guys to see the cutest handmade jewelry ever? Let me show you. Okay, I got one for me, one for my niece. And these are them. Look at these little flower bracelets. Now they have a ton of different colors. I went with the like white nude one and then I went with like the pastels. So you could get a couple different ones, but these are just so dainty and beautiful. She also has like a lot of other jewelry on there. I just wanted to try the ones that I had saw on TikTok. It is so hard to put a bracelet on yourself. Oh, I just did it. Look at that. I just think that's so cute. All the little flowers, very dainty, super beautiful. And then even the little chain that comes down has a little flower on it. These are absolutely adorable and I just think they're so sweet. And I think like this package like had so much little details and care. I absolutely loves it. <laughs> I love that. I put an S on that. I love it. And that is what makes shopping at small businesses so important, but yet so fun and charming because they have so many details that big conglomerates can't really add in. But whenever someone's making this stuff themselves, they put so much care into it. And I just, I love this. This is precious. Oh, by the way, there was a little bitty baby confettis as well. <laughs> in the little package. Okay, our next one is super interesting. I have not bought a lot of makeup products off a uh, small business, but I did hear this is called Slushy Glow Cosmetics. Go ahead and roll that TikTok. What are your most popular items? Can you guess number one? On fifth place, we have my Bleeding Crystal Lip Tint. When I tell you I've been overusing this, I can't go without it. On fourth place, it's my Fairy Dust Lip Scrub. I just love to use this when I'm pampering myself. Third place is my Unforgettable Eden Rose Lip Balm. The packaging always gets to me, it's so beautiful. Not to mention the swatch as well. Second place is Twilight Princess Lip Tint. To the ones who know what this is inspired by, I love you. And number one is my Rose Quartz Lip Oil. This is dearly loved by all of my customers. I'm pretty sure almost everyone has it. Do you own any of these? Are you ready? Oh, imagine I cut myself. Oh my god. Okay, let's see what we got. 
It's so cute. Okay, here we go. First off, she's got a little love note for thanking me for supporting the small business as well as a discount code for 10% off. She also has custom cards made which go with the theme of the website. Then she has a handwritten thank you on the sheet which breaks down everything that I ordered. This is the package that it came in and it just has the slushy glow card on it. Let's go ahead and open it up. These are so cool. Look at these jars. Oh my gosh, look at that. I think these are like little lip stains. It's called blood tint to be exact. It also comes with some, with a little sticker. And it also comes packaged with some little squigglies and then a card with all the information on it, which is so smart to definitely add in. So you're able to find the business really easy. Okay, here we go. So we have bloody tint. Are these the same thing? One looks darker than the other, but I could be wrong. Let's give them a go. Oh, let me take, finish taking this off. Oh, all right, we're opening her up. Oh, here we go. Oh, it comes on a little doe foot applicator. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. You're kidding. Okay, guys. I did a really messy job applying that. It's like watery. You see that? Here we go. I need to clean it up. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Okay, you're going to want to put this on a little better than I did because it does, you know, dry down pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and add a little more. These are so cool, by the way. These are just so cool. Look at that. So this is like a lip stain. So my lips are going to be red for a very long time. <laughs> for all of 2023. It feels like a lip stain, like a very liquidy, dry down quick lip stain. So I'm gonna wipe it because it, oh, because I wanna try the second one. But as you can see, we're stained. Oh my God, that works so fast. I look like a vampire right now. Maybe that's the point. Okay, so what's pretty with these stains is if you do a stain like this and then you add like your own gloss on top. Let me show you. Like if I put some of this Tower 28 gloss, like see, this is so pretty. Mm. And imagine with like a super light eye look with just like some lashes and like these lips, everything, everything. Okay, we gotta try the other one. We got two. All right, excuse my stained lips. Let's just give this one a go. Okay, this one is like a deep maroon purple. <gasps> uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to do better with this one because I'm already messing it up. This one's beautiful. Mmm, really pretty for like fall and winter. You know what? I really like this one. A whole lot, it's like a pretty berry color. It's beautiful. These are so interesting. I gotta say, these are a winner in my book. These do exactly what they say they're gonna do. Um, I think you just have to practice on applying them because they're quite liquidy, so they can be a little bit messy, but these are so freaking cool. I love these. All right, so now I'm gonna wipe it off. <gasps> Look at the berry lips. I like a mess right now. I should have done a better job. We're gonna add a little gloss on top of this berry color. That is pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, these are really neat. They have a bunch of different little things on the website, but I think these are just too cool. So they're a winner, baby. We got another winner on our hands. All right, guys, if you're into arts and crafts and doing your own arts and crafts, <laughs> you're gonna wanna see this next TikTok. Go ahead and roll that TikTok. They make little clay kits. So if you wanna get into pottery and you don't know how, or you just want a fun hobby, this is it. So you can buy the kit. They have a couple different kits on their website or you could just buy the clay. You don't have to get the whole kit, but I went ahead and got the whole kit. And they have their own custom artwork, which is so cute. I just dropped everything, which is so cute. Inside and out, it comes with a pamphlet book, which is going to tell you how to make all kinds of different clay items, even like the one that you saw. And it breaks down how to use all the tools and everything and how to step-by-step step build some pretty cool stuff. You get all of the kit tools right here and then you get the two bags of clay as well as a little, basically that little cards in there tell you different little ideas. So I've already used this, but I'll go ahead and insert the footage of what I created. Do not hold your breath. You're not gonna be that impressed, but this is like my first time 
with this kit, so I want it to do something easy. All right, guys, croc kit. Let's talk about it. So in your box, they give you a lot of instructions. I have two bags. This is the clay in both of these bags, and it just came in here, and then they give you a set of tools. They give you the clay breakers, which these are really cute. It like, talks about discussion things that you can go over and talk about while you're making your pottery. What are you most afraid of? Yeah, let's get deep and dirty. It comes with that. I love the artwork, it's so unique. It kind of reminds me of Bob's Burgers a little bit, but anyway, it comes with that. And then it comes with this book, which tells you how to use everything, how to get set up, how to get started. And then it has a bunch of different pieces that it teaches you how to make step by step. It has a bunch of different ideas of things you can make and it tells you how to make them step by step. I'm gonna start off easy because, I mean, I feel like this will be easy, the incense burner, but I'm gonna start off with just making like a cup, you know? We're not gonna get too complicated it because I just don't know how this is gonna turn out. Like, I don't know if I can make all these lips and everything now. But it tells you how to do everything, which is very helpful. And I think this is a really cute, fun activity. I got a plate. This is our clay. I'm gonna break a piece off. And I'm gonna make a small bowl, I feel. Maybe I'll use a little more. And it says to ball it into a ball. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our tool. And well, it says, I have fingernails, but it says like just to poke a hole to make a vase in it with your nail. But I feel like I'm gonna use the tool because, you know, the nails. This is so satisfying. So we're gonna do this. And now we're gonna start to make our vase. This is such a cute, fun activity. You know what, I think if you're looking for something fun to do, you wanna create some of your own stuff and make some cute stuff on your own or like a hobby. I think this kit is just adorable and it kind of comes with like everything you need and all the rules and instructions. So I, I think it's adorable, definitely. This is not a time to judge how my artwork comes out. If you have fingernails, just know you're probably gonna be doomed and you're gonna need to use the tools, but I'm trying. All right, guys, my bowl is done. I will show you guys, because it has to dry for two, not one, two days. I'll insert some footage of it drying. I basically followed the instructions on how to make it, and because I had nails, it made it really hard, so I just used the back end of this to smooth it out. I can't wait to see how it dries, and I will report back. All right, guys, our next one is a cute glass company that makes these really interesting, I guess it's called like a decanter glass where you can put your liquors in. We'll go ahead and roll the TikTok for you. Small business owner, reality check. First, show us your newest product, and now the product that got your business started. Next, show us your best-selling product compared to the one that doesn't do too hot. Lastly, show us your favorite product versus the product you wish you never made. I had to buy those cactus ones as soon as I saw them. I don't know where I'm gonna put these, but I was just so in love with these that I did end up unboxing these. You can actually get these off Amazon because the small business is on Amazon, but you get two cups with a handle, so cute. And then the rest of these, they stack inside one another like this. So you're able to literally make a cacti. They're like this deep green, and then this one will turn this. Oh, did I do this wrong? What did I do? Oh, maybe it goes in the bottom. Oh, I did it wrong. And then look, you can flip it upside down. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. If you know anyone that likes cacti or quirky little pieces like this, be sure and check them out. You can also store them like this, like however you want to store them, but you know, give the cactus vibes. They're very heavy, like they're very luxe filling. Oh, oh, I'm gonna set them right there so you guys can continue to get a good gander at them. But then I bought something else for them for Tyler and I thought it was really cute. So we're gonna open it together. Here it is, it came in this big box with all the styrofoam. It says, thank you, the wine savant. May you enjoy your new unique item and it has their customer service on it. Adorable. Oh! Are you guys ready to scream? Are you kidding me? It's a little golf cart. Okay, here is where you put the liquor in. And then I think you put the cups up here in the top part. I need to look at this online. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh my God, this is so cute. And then you put your little liquor in there. Oh, almost dropped it. Oh. It's so freaking cute. I've never seen anything like this. And yes, it really wheels. Okay, so it has little wooden golf carts on the back. 
like that, our little golf clubs. This is so freaking cute. We have to go show Ty. Oh wait, hello, I forgot this. So we gotta put that on. There we go, now we can pour the whiskey. Pour the whiskey for the boys. Okay, let's go give this to him and I will show you his reaction. Okay, you ready? Mommy. No. <laughs> You put your whiskey in it. Wow. Those are heavy, aren't they? Yeah, these are nice. These are thick. Yeah. You got this on TikTok? Yeah. Does it roll? TikTok's what they roll. Rolls. Look at the little cop. Oh. That is so hilarious. Isn't that so cute? I'm gonna have to, where's the stopper at? I'm gonna have to it's probably in there and I didn't get it. This is so funny. Love it. Yeah. You love it? I love it. It's so cute, isn't it? It is. Oh my goodness, the little golf cart. It's very me. It is very you. I'm just checking it out, like the construction nice. of this bad boy. Isn't that it's nice? Out of wood. Okay, okay. I bought myself cactus glasses and then I got you this. Okay. Same company? Yeah. So cool. Yeah, I love it. I'll definitely set this up in the man cave. All right, we have a winner. Okay, luckily he loved it. Okay, for our next one, this one's interesting. These people make homemade rugs, if you will, like designs on the rugs, and she 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 gets a lot of business. I ordered one from Christmas, although I'm filming this video after Christmas, but that's okay, I'm gonna use it next year. But let's go ahead and roll that TikTok. <laughs> All right, guys, this is it. This is my Christmas rug I ordered from them. It did take a, like a few weeks, I'm sure. She was backed up on holiday orders, so just a heads up. The fact that she has the talent to hand do these rugs is very impressive. What the heck? Oh my gosh, look how freaking cute this is. A Merry Christmas rug! with the sparkles. So I, they have like literally endless designs on their website. This is a nice mat too. But they have endless designs on their website and I just picked this one because I thought I was gonna be able to film this before Christmas. However, I wasn't, but that's okay. It turned out great. Like it looks just like it said it was going to look. So I'm very impressed. I just think it's so freaking cute. And they do have an Etsy shop. Of course, I'll link it down below. But if you're looking for custom doormats, they have very funny ones as well. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, a little bit funky, a little quirky, something hilarious, check them out. They're called the Wayward Whimsy. That's the name of their account as well as their online Etsy store. So for our next one, this one might be the most interesting. It is a glass pen and you're supposed to be able to write kind of like I want to say olden times, like with ink dipped in it, with these glass pens. They look so cool, but I'm sure they're going to take some practice. Let's go ahead and roll that TikTok. Here are some tips and tricks for your glass dip pen. A lot of people have been messaging me and saying that they're getting these globs of ink on their paper while they're writing. First thing I would recommend trying is only dipping it about a quarter or halfway into the pen, and then always give it a little shake or a tap if you feel like there's too much ink. Then you should be good to go. All right, guys, this is what it comes in. It looks like this. <gasps> wow, look at that. You get your glass pen and you get your ink, and then I. Oh, this is to rest it on, like you rest the pin. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna insert some footage of me trying this out, but get this little sharp tip on this pin. So you're supposed to only dip the little tip in and write. So I'm gonna try this out for us. <gasps> Look at this. It looks like, can you guys see? It's like red maroony ink. Oh my gosh. I just wanna try it real quick. Oh my God, it's all, already all over me. I'm about to make such a mess with this, honey. I need gloves to try this out. Oh my God, it stains. It's like, it's like the lip balm. Oh, it's all over me and it's not coming off. It's not, but okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna get some gloves and then I'm gonna try this out. All right guys, here we go. I have gloves on because my hands are pretty stained. And so that is the little thing that you can like rest your pen on when you're done. So apparently you're, I'm not gonna be good at this right off the start, but let's see. Apparently you're only supposed to get a little bit of the ink on the pen. Okay, let's write my name, shall we? I'm scared, I'm spooked. <gasps> wait. Oh my God, wait, I did it. I, I thought I was gonna struggle so hard. I mean, it could be prettier, yes. Let's give it a second go. We're gonna give it a little dip. Oh my God, I'm a pro, hello. This ink is so pretty, by the way. So just a little bit. 
Wow, look at me go. Okay, this is really cool. It's actually not as hard to do as you would think. And I just think this is like the neatest thing ever. It's so much fun. I could do this all day. All right, guess what guys? I feel like everything we tried out today was a total win. And these small businesses are literally killing it. They have such unique, cool ideas. Look at my art here, okay? It's a winner. Okay, you, they actually write way easier than what you think though. Anyways, Obsessed, 10 out of 10. This was really fun and I could probably do this all day if I don't spill this little jar. Hannah Stellar 2 is the name of the glass pin company and so I will obviously link that. But these are super, super cool. Anyways, that is it for today's video. We had a lot of different items. We had glass pins, we had clay kits, funky candles, glassware, makeup, jewelry, we got it all. I hope you guys enjoyed this small business TikTok video. Don't forget to support small businesses out there and check these small businesses out. Of course, I will link all of them right down below for you guys to check out. I love you guys, thank you for being here so much and be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you in my next video.